And then this, and then <laughs> when we are pregnant as black women, we are walking, we are walking into a hostile battlefield of violence against our bodies when we go into the quote unquote healthcare system. It doesn't matter what your social economics is. It does not matter what you think your education is or is not. Okay. Part of this has to, part of what we're talking about here is we do not look at uh, as our, at ourselves, nor does anybody look at us as human beings. And here's why I can say that we, we have a range of emotions too. And we go through shit. And all the time that you are a single parent, it's like people think that you as an individual can't get sick, can't need surgery, can't need your your mouth worked on. Like, you know, you, you just see us as a body. You don't see us as an entire person with all of these things. And if you are a single black mother, who's coming to take care of when you get sick, let's say, because that has a direct effect on your children. Yeah. Well, it's not that nigga. Okay. So I'm just telling you, this is a part of the whole of it that comes crashing down when we choose to take responsibility and accountability, not only for what we chose to do, but for mm -hmm. what you chose to do, but you don't have to be responsible for your fucking sperm. You don't. So weird how we got rid of Roe versus Wade, but black men's and white men's and whoever can abort their children after they're born. Hmm? That they don't wrong. need they don't need the government, you know, approval to do it. They just do it mm -hmm. all the time. Nope. All the you time. get to do you get to do all of that, and who bears that? That would be us. That would be us. So when this man calls me and he says, "I don't want anything to do with you or that baby," I had just seen my doctor because I was in preterm labor mm -hmm. because the fucking stress. Stress of working two different things, 12-hour mm -hmm. shifts on one, eight on the other, I have nothing left, and I'm throwing up. And you know what they're telling me? Oh, well, suffer, bitch. Oh, Who well. told you that? Yeah, the, the doctor? Oh, that's what that, that, well, that's what you're effectively saying when you're not going to do anything about it. And I still have to work. So even when I was somewhere putting in an IV, I would have to get up as soon as I got that IV and hold the vomit back until I could get to the bathroom. I y'all to know how real this is. Because this is real. This is happening to actual Black women every single day, all day. And all we get is a lot of Oh, single mothers are causing all the problems. Oh, single black mothers and they ain't nothing and blah, blah, blah. We don't care about their education. We don't care about... We, we fucking know that. Like, why are you even talking to me? Leave me alone. And that's the other we, thing. We, we, Leave we, me alone. We, we know you don't give a fuck. Okay? So this man, he calls me, but my doctor had said to me, girl, if your pressure goes up any more little bit, you are going to be off. Here's what I'm thinking as a single black mother, because we have a single black mother um, mindset. Mm -hmm. And it's about making it happen. We're about getting results. We're about making sure that our children are, you know, loved, cared for, uplifted, uh, who trying to figure out who they are from them. Uh, disciplining them because oh you ain't running amok in my house I don't know what you do over there but girl I will snatch you okay <laughs> right so here we all here we are and I if 
if my blood pressure is up when I go see the doctor after this man hangs up, after telling me that he doesn't want anything to do with me or his daughter, what does she do to you? Just now, you can leave me. You can leave me because I'm a grown-ass woman. But what is this? What did this baby do to you? I, I don't. We're I mean, that. what the fuck did she do to you? She... And you don't even give a fuck about this child. You are a grown ass man. I am a grown ass woman. And you get to call me and tell me you're not <laughs> you're not going to what? You're not going to what? You're 40 years old. You're 10 years older than me. My back is killing me. I'm already two centimeters dilated. And we are two lunar months out from her being ready to be born. I go to the doctor and I know I cannot, my blood pressure cannot be up. How do I make that happen? How do I make my blood pressure not be up? in this situation I come home I open the door and girl I heard someone screaming and I remember falling to the floor and that's all I remember and the person screaming is me you. yeah that was you so I don't know how I ended up in bed. I don't. I don't remember. But that that 31 year old woman a single black mother and I hear this over and over from all types of single black mothers. Yeah. How could you do that? How could you do that? And so y'all want me y'all want me to forgive? No. Mm -mm. Y'all want you, so, but but y'all are not going over there and asking him to atone. Bingo. No repentance. No forgiveness. Y'all. Y'all are asking black women. To just be harnessed by you because you covet us, because you don't have the power to create, and you're mad about it, you're jealous about it, you're envious about it, and you're fucking violent. Like I said, he looked good on paper. You know, he came mm -hmm. from a two-parent home, all this other shit. He, he, he was a Methodist and blah, blah, blah. Girl, I'm going to need all, I need all the noise to shut it off. Because what's going on here is so real. And it's unnecessary suffering. And y'all love to eat our pain. It's something about it that's delicious to y'all. Okay? And that's really what was going on. 